what about the consumer tech fintech all of those are now down whatever 40 50 60 percent from their peaks you're smiling shankar uh, tell us a bit about this now and the only reason why i'm smiling is that i had no time any stock in these i never had <laughs> so so i mean uh, my my view is th- that let me divide my view in two parts i think it's been a great time for that ecosystem to find a home in the indian stock market okay mm. i just think india needed more new age companies rather than exporting them to the nasdaq right so i am very very pleased that at least the indian investors opened their arms to such companies what i'm not pleased about is how idiotic indian investors were in buying these companies at those valuations that was the real problem it's not intrinsically that you know their listing was wrong and many many people i hear on twitter and all that the regulators should step in and say why did you price it i mean i don't think once you let a market be free let it be free okay you have made uh, norms that 60% should go to qibs hopefully qibs are more knowledgeable i mean let's not then put a, a sheen of communism on top of capitalism right i mean i don't i, I don't buy that let it be free people will lose money people will learn that's the way you are going to learn right how else are you going to learn so yeah. i think people were foolish to invest in these companies i think even now i don't see any value in them and a reason why i say this is there there is nothing unique about them i don't see anything unique about selling lipstick or you know having a you know car or whatever uh, showroom or network used car network or something like that or you know food delivery i mean anybody can replicate that at a far lower uh, you know capital raise than these guys have in fact the i think the converse is true that they have created an ecosystem and now other people can walk in and do it at a far lower cost because when you are a pioneer your cost of just creating that market and the mind share for people is a lot more than the second or the third guy right so in a way it's like naran murthy's pioneering effort or fc kohli's pioneering effort which led to the birth of it services but the amount of hard work they had to put into win business in the 70s and the 80s the next gen it companies already walked into us and they said yeah indian it company come on and you know we'll 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 talk so you know it's just the effort taken by a zomato or a nike to create these ecosystems has taken a lot of cost the next guys will walk in at far lower cost and replicate the same thing i mean that's the real problem okay so so you are clearly you you i you told me you're not enthused then you're not enthused even at these i mean i don't know whether you call them valuations but these levels let me put it that way because some of these might have very dodgy valuations even at these levels you're not uh, comfortable so, at all so neeraj if you look at the nasdaq because these companies at least should broadly track that right i don't think indian it services have any connection with the nasdaq there sure. they should not be but these companies do if you look at stocks the tech or so called consumer tech or whatever fintech in in the us or even in australia the damage the carnage is insane i mean 80 90% storied companies docu sign or peloton or i mean so many uh, zoom i mean they have yeah. been crushed crushed absolutely decimated these guys in india are still down only 50 60% those guys are now 90% that means a 50%er can half and half again before it it's a 90% down just <laughs> mathematically so there can be a lot more downside to these stocks i don't want to rush out and say good value i mean good value for what i mean look i mean 2000 crore revenue cannot trade at 80000 crore market cap i'm sorry it that simply does not add up does not add up 